the Swedish nuclear fuel and waste management company, or SKB, is working on a final repository for high-level spent nuclear fuel. Copper canisters with 5-inch thick walls are loaded with fuel rods and sealed. The canisters will be stored deep underground in facilities designed to store the waste long term. It is very important to ensure that the containers are securely sealed so a process called friction stir welding is currently under evaluation for sealing the lids. Friction stir welding is the process of stirring metal together. This stirring is accomplished by injecting a specially designed bit to soften and mix the metal layers together. SKB is evaluating this method to seal 5 cm thick copper canisters that will contain spent nuclear fuel. To produce repetitive, high-quality welds, the process must be controlled to tight specifications. The control system maintains stir zone temperature and plunge depth. If the temperature of the weld is too hot or cold, it can produce weld imperfections that may lessen the effectiveness of the seal. This study includes details of a strategy to better adjust axial force and spindle rotation speed to produce the best quality seal. Two different approaches are evaluated in this study. The first attempt is a decentralized solution where the cascaded temperature controller is kept. And the second approach uses a nonlinear model predictive controller for both depth and temperature. Suitable models were derived and used to design the controllers. A simpler model for the decentralized controller and a more extensive full model used in the nonlinear model predictive controller that relates all the important process variables. Decentralized controls have been implemented on the real system. Welds have produced excellent results, confirming that the decentralized controller is effective. Even though the controller satisfies performance requirements, simulations indicate that the nonlinear model predictive controller achieves even better control performance. This model predictive controller compensates for the cross connections between the process variables, and the resulting closed loop system is almost completely decoupled. This decoupling is important during the initial transverse of the weld. During startup, the tool must get to the required plunge depth and stir zone temperature quickly. The model predictive control better compensates for the changes in temperature due to the changes in axial force for the plunge depth control. In this case, the NMPC, or nonlinear model predictive controller, maintains temperature while staying within specified controller limits. Because the model predictive controller relies on an accurate process model, more research is necessary to generalize the control to other friction stir welding applications. Testing will confirm whether model predictive control or distributed control will achieve the best performance where it can be put to rest hundreds of meters below Sweden.